Ozymandias, what was the main idea of the poem? I know hubris, but yes, Kevin. Don't be late, don't be late. There are 80,000 public school teachers in New York City. That's cool. Well, now that we do that, and for some, when the school day ends, biggest fan, I'll follow you until you see you belong with me. And for one night in June, these educators will be put to the test in the first ever teachers only amateur night at the Apollo. It's like a live-in vacation, you know, I get to, I get to masquerade as, you know, a pop star for a night. Why can't you love me, Papa, Papa Rotsi? These are the typical sounds of the day at Celia Cruz Bronx High School of Music. So guys, open your books back up to 1031. Who wants to be person one? Okay, no. But so are these. Suspensions. We're all teachers, and when we're not in the classroom, we are a working band. They practice after classes in the school basement, where students are invited to watch. Right now, we're doing a lot of classic rock and some cover tunes, and uh, recently, we've been doing a lot of writing. And inspiration can strike anywhere. After receiving an email about the Apollo Teachers' Night, the suspensions auditioned and were chosen to perform along with 16 other acts on June 2nd. And here we are loving our everyday job and helping kids on a day-to-day -day basis and somebody's giving back to us to help our dreams come true. And that's huge, you can't beat that. Anna McHugh, a special education teacher in the Bronx, also won a spot. It's kind of like a hoop dance. So there's hula hoop tricks like they do in the circus. I'll be hula hooping on different parts of my body. But then it's also more of a dance, like expressive um, emotion to the music. Hula hooping provides this experience for me to be really free and energetic and wild. as opposed to as a classroom teacher where you have to say no, sit down, be quiet to students when I'd rather say yes, jump up and down, be more excited. It's something that I couldn't do, didn't think I could do as a kid, and because I wanted it so badly, I went after it. What I want to instill in my students, that if there's something that they want in life, yet they think they can't do it. If they, believe, if they want to do it, I believe that they have the capacity to fulfill that. Did you write it on here? As teachers, they get instant feedback from students, but can that prepare them for an Apollo audience? How can I go on? You know, being booed off, um, I'm, I'm trying to not think about that. Our goal is to make it through the song. Right. I don't plan okay. on winning anything. You could buy me diamonds. You could buy me pearls. Mike Fram and Devin Proctor met in college. They named themselves Quality Review in homage to the city's school review process. I'm, I'm an English teacher, special ed English. And I am the music teacher. And actually one of my students was, was sort of the person who suggested that we do a mashup like this. Quality Review hopes, at the very least, to inspire smiles. You know, because we are two corny looking white boys getting up there. And, and I mean, that's what they told us the audition. They were like, sound like you sound, but look like but you look. Like you look. Why can't you love me, Papa, Papa Rossi? The top three acts chosen by the audience will go on to compete with previous Apollo winners. And the expectations are as varied as the acts themselves.
a ticket into the Apollo for right. free. I mean, I'm sure we'll, yeah, we'll sure. get to see the rest of the show. Yes, I think there's enough talent in this band to move it forward. I'm not really thinking about winning or losing. I, I've seen stuff at the Apollo. It was pretty expensive, yeah. but um, that's a good free ticket. I will still be paying my bus fare right. up there. <laughs> Not a bad game.